Uh, hi everyone. Um, Amptroid 1.0 has been released, so I'm just going to go through and do a step-by-step uh, -step on how to install and configure it. So um, we're just going to start with obviously this is the um, go to the home page for MIDI Portal, where you'll find it is in download plugins. Um, easiest way to do it is type it in and do a search. So it's uh, AMP Droid. So click search, it'll pop up here. Um, it was only released a few hours ago, so this actually hasn't been um, updated yet, but everything else has, so that's all good. The There's two ways to download it. One is to go to the Android Market or Google Play, as it's called now. So if you click on here, it'll take you to the um, uh, Google Play Market here, and you can download it. The biggest difference other than the, um, uh, the the way it looks is that now there's a pro and a free version. So the free version is will do everything the pro version does without um, the ads. So that's it. You know, it's only four bucks for the pro version, so if you're going to use it a lot anyway. Uh, that's cool. So that's one way to do it. The other way is if you click on home page, this has been updated. So, um, yep, take a photo of that with your phone or tablet and um, it'll uh, take you to the market and download it. Uh, the other thing uh, that's been updated uh, and it's made it a lot easier to configure and set up is that the back end now only runs on the um, MP Extended. So, if you click on this, it'll take you to the installation guide for MP Extended which is very very simple um, and I'll go through that as well and show you the configuration. So from here um, to download it click on this and this is the latest one 0.4.3 click here to download and click save and it's 35.4 megs as you'll see I've already done that so um, I'm not going to download it again but then if you want to read through that that'll talk you through configure is very very simple. Perfect so what we'll do now is uh, now that that's downloaded we'll go and um, install it. Alright be right back. Okay so now that we've downloaded the MP extended we're going to go through and install it. It takes uh, so these are the options you have obviously you've got the client server single seat and custom but uh, unless you really know what you're doing, um, as it says there, it's for advanced users. Um, generally, these three will suffice. Just remember that if you have a multi-seat setup, meaning you have a server and a client, um, you're going to have to install this on every single client um, individually and select client, obviously, on the server. Um, then a single seat means you've got the client and the server on one computer, which this one has. So I'm going to go in single seat. Uh, I'm just going to leave those default. You want this to automatically start um, on Windows Startup, and I'll show you why. So we go ahead. <coughs> takes a little, takes a few minutes. This computer is a little bit slow, but uh, we'll be right back when it's done. Okay, so uh, now it's done, and we want to make sure, leave that to start uh, to application. So that's all good. Then what you'll see is um, it's open up the uh, configurator automatically on first um, startup. So as you'll see, this is uh, a lot more simple to to configure than the um, the old uh, GMA service. So you just go through here configuration obviously most mostly you can leave everything default so obviously that's the default port um, plugins it'll um, f for the most part I've found that it's uh, picked up the right database automatically and I haven't really had to uh, change anything so uh, we'll um, go through that in a second okay so um, if you use any of these track it or follow it. Obviously, just put your information there. Um, 
what what is recommended here is is create an admin user by default. So if you right click on it, delete. Um, I just create another a new one, admin, and put in whatever password you want. And then you just go add account, save it, um, previously start. So and then just go down. We'll restart at the end. So the other thing is, if I click in there, save that, changes that picture, and then um, take a photo of it. We'll go through that um, in a little bit. Everything else um, I leave by on default. It seems to work for me. Um, so the beauty about this is you can just stop the service from here and then restart it, and um, that'll apply uh, any of those uh, changes that we've made and uh, that's pretty much it uh, I want to go back here the one of the things you can do here is um, save this image to a file so it's kind of handy so I normally just save it as an image so I don't have to open up this if I have a new client um, I don't have to open it up and um, I can just open up the image and uh, scan it from there. So that's it. So I'll close that up and you can see it's running down here. If you right click on it, you can say, look, start media portal, open that configurator or um, control, you know, your power settings for your computer from here. All right, that's, uh, that should be pretty much it. Okay, next I uh, will go in and um, set up the device, the tablet or the phone itself. All right, thanks.